I'd like to take you someplace. Someplace very old. A place of eternal darkness. A wonderland of shapes and colors. I'd like to take you here. fascinating places, subjects of myth and mystery, folklore of strange creatures, buried treasures, and famous hideaways has been a delightful part of cave phenomena. And history records caves as playing an important role in man's development. A cave is a unique and interesting place. It is a significant component of our natural landscape and a vital part of our total environment. This is Fantastic Caverns, located near Springfield, Missouri. Stretching beneath the Ozarks, Fantastic Caverns is one of the larger of more than 3,000 caves that make Missouri the cave state. There are different kinds of caves, ice caves, lava caves, sea caves, but most are like this one formed in limestone. As rain falls through the atmosphere, it absorbs a small amount of carbon dioxide. It gathers additional carbon dioxide as it moves through the organic matter on the ground and upper layers of the soil, becoming a weak carbonic acid solution. The slightly acidic water seeping through cracks and crevices slowly dissolves the limestone forming cavities and channels as it moves downward and sideways between the limestone layers. After thousands of years, rooms are formed in the sections of rock along the water's path. Water continues to seep into the cave from the ground above. It drips from the ceilings and walls carrying dissolved calcium carbonate into the cave. As the water encounters the air in the cave, it gives up carbon dioxide into the atmosphere and releases from the solution crystalline calcium carbonate, which is generally deposited as the mineral calcite. The dripping water leaves tiny deposits of calcite as it falls from the ceiling. First, a tiny ring the size of the drop is formed. Then, ring forms upon ring until a slender hollow tube hangs from the ceiling. These formations are known as soda straws. If the tube becomes plugged, water begins to flow down the side of the straw, depositing more calcite and eventually forming larger stalactites. Sometimes calcite is also deposited where the water falls, forming other cave formations. If water falls on a solid surface, the calcite deposit will be concentrated, often beneath its parent stalactite, and a small mound will form, the beginning of a stalagmite.
As the stalactite and the stalagmite continue to grow, they may eventually meet and form a column. which flows over a sloped surface deposits a solid calcite coating called flowstone. Water dripping from long cracks or flowing along the underside of a sloping surface deposits calcite along the trail of water forming a small ridge. Other drops flow along the ridge depositing additional calcite. Eventually, the ridge becomes a magnificent drapery of crystal. The growth known as cave coral or popcorn adorns a damp wall. This curious shape is fashioned by mineral-laden water seeping through walls or existing formations. Wherever water, saturated with calcium carbonate, flows over an obstruction, carbon dioxide is lost from the water, causing a deposit of calcite around the obstruction. Often these deposits form rimstone dams creating clear pools of water. Cave pearls are formed in moving water by calcite deposited on a grain of sand or small rock. If the particle is trapped in a pool, the action of the water rotates the particle and calcite is deposited in layers, forming the pearl. Delicate halectites wander at odd angles like tiny roots. Their direction of growth is controlled by forces in their crystalline structure, which can be stronger than the force of gravity. Growth of the cave's calcite formations, or speleothems to be exact, is extremely slow. Based on some recent age dating studies in Missouri, it may take a quarter of a million years to grow stalagmites only a couple of feet high. Many cave formations are tens and hundreds of thousands of years old. Despite its enveloping darkness and lack of green plants, caves provide a habitat for many unusual forms of life. The bat, best known of all cave-dwelling animals, sleeps away the day in the darkness of the cave, then flies out at night to feed on insects. Other animals live in that edge of light and dark called the twilight zone, near the cave entrance. In the far reaches of the cave, some animals have adapted to the eternal darkness. These animals are often almost colorless and blind. Rare and endangered species like the blind cave salamander, the blind cave fish, and the blind cave crayfish. All life forms in the system depend on a fragile source of organic matter for existence. As the surface environment changes, the cave's environment is affected. 
Our world exists and thrives only in ecological harmony and interdependence of growing and living things. Caves give us an unusual opportunity to examine the subsurface of the world in which we live. We can see the influences of air, water, and rock over millions of years. And it's still growing, still changing, a living part of our environment. There are caves throughout the country open for you to visit. Each cave is distinctly different in the size of its passageways, variety of its formations and animal life, and some caves have interesting histories. Fantastic Caverns is the only cavern in America that is large enough and level enough to drive through. Visitors each year experience the awe and delight of this underground gallery. I'd like to invite you to visit the natural wonder and beauty of a cave and take a deeper look at our Earth.